Well, time now is 9.42. We all love to be pampered, but so do our four-legged family members. Yeah, there's one place here in the Valley that offers everything from grooming to mm -hmm. pet sitting services to make sure that our furry friends are happy and it's one of Jamie's local loves. She's out at Puff and Fluff this morning near 16th Street in Bethany Home. And did they give you another job after you massaged the pet last time? Gave him a little <laughs> facial? We, we did a little facial. She smells like blueberry now. Oh, oh, and she is a lover. She goes right for the face, too. I'll tell you what. She gets her, her aim, like 99% accuracy, right for the mouth, my friend. So there's Marley, my new bestie. But I want to talk to Kimberly as well. Tell me a little bit about, um, we were talking about the summer cuts, and I noticed when you walk in, a whole lot of floof over here. Yes. So, <laughs> I thought, what on earth is this? But this actually has a purpose here. Yes, yeah, so basically this is our guide on how if, how if you want your dog short. Mm -hmm. um, a number three would leave them pretty long and leave them about a half inch. And then you can go to a number four, which would leave about three eighth inch of fur on them. Number 10 would be the shortest we do in here and leaves one sixteenth of fur on them. And that's um, where most people are going during the summer? Most people are actually going between the 7 and the 10. The 10 is the shortest, and we do that on a lot of, like, bigger dog shave downs. Um, we do a number 7 and a number 5 on the smaller dogs. And I want to spin you around here because uh, local is very important yes, most uh, to definitely. the store. And so tell me a little bit about some of these products that you have here because these uh, treats and meals, they are locally made as well. Yes, so Stella and Chewy is a locally um, made dog food for your dogs. Mm -hmm. um, it's whole, whole grain food, all natural food, grass-fed beef, um, basically it, it's really good for your dogs. All it's the good all stuff. Natural. Yes, it's all the good stuff. You have the treats, you have the, the dinner patties, you have the meal mixers, and then you even have, also have the dry coated kibble. And then I love the bows as well, and that is um, handmade here in town? Yes, it's a local vendor that comes in and she brings them to us. She does make them um, and brings them by. Yeah. They do really well. People like them. Oh, they are super cute. Okay, so we want to talk about the matting. So let's head back to, let's pop in front of Ricky B there, grab the door for him, and um, we're going to actually work on a dog that's getting some grooming done right now. And the matting kind of happens because, you know, the dogs might be in and out of the pool, outside more, and uh, so it's a common problem. Most definitely it is. It's a common problem, especially if they're swimming. Um, they, they do get matted. Their legs get matted, like the schnauzer here. Uh, she, the groomer's brushing out the schnauzer. It has some mats in its leg. It's very important to brush them out before they get in the bath so those mats don't tighten up in the bath after they get that water on them. Any kind of technique that we need to do? I mean, this dog is very patient. <laughs> yes, she's doing a very wonderful job. Well, as you can see here, she's using that metal comb right there mm -hmm. and breaking through those mats where that metal comb gets down to the surface underneath that fur. Mm -hmm. And then she's also using the slicker brush and brushing those out as well. Okay. That looks like a whole lot of work. The metal comb is, is, does very well, yes. Mm -hmm. You want that metal comb for those long-coated, even the curly-coated dogs, you want that metal comb. Okay. Definitely get those mats out before you wash them. But yes. you know what? You can just take them here, let you guys handle yes. that. Yes, handle that the professionals, stuff. we can handle that stuff. <laughs> they can also paint your doggies' nails as well. They do pet sitting, too, and teeth cleaning. So they've got everything going on here. It is called Puff and Fluff, and we'll let the puppy say back to you. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I'm, I'm due for about a number five yeah, in there. Say, number five. A little in there. fade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thanks Jamie. Jamie. Appreciate it.